Uh, we live? Uh, we live? Seems good. Alright then. Uh, give me just a moment. How do I refresh this thing? Yep, there we go. Alright, perfect. Okay, where were we? Before getting chased away by flood. Slowly clearing out Nalvis. Uh, oh, oh god, nope, nope, nope. That was a little bit close. Doesn't look like we lost any spiders. Probably would have taken a very long time for them to die because of how many shields I gave them. That's the refresh rate of the shields, not just the hit points. Well, that was lucky. Uh, presumably I gave them more move orders before, but they got stuck on the water or something. Let's just send them back for resupply to start with. And this group is... whoops. Can they go in a straight line? Yeah, that should be fine. A Sigma Beam. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And it's good to be back. Even if I am, for the moment, uh, stuck with one old monitor and glancing at my phone to check on chat today. Uh, so... What about space? What were we doing in space? Wait, am I on the ground? I don't remember coming back to the ground or why I did that. Uh, what are we doing in space though? But wait, what? Oh, this, this is, this is not the save. Okay. Uh, apparently... I... Oh, I remember. I accidentally saved over that, um... Like, sandbox game. And then I accidentally loaded it this time. Alright, cool. No worries. I should have realized, um, I'm pretty sure we've cleared out a lot more of Nalvis than that. We've also finished clearing out Rose, but I didn't get around to checking on that one. Okay, much better. So we've got small train depot, couple of large train depots. We've got, uh, solar panels. And, uh, what do you call it? Multi-spectral mirror production here? I was thinking about maybe, uh, what are we taking from? One, two, of the five machines that make multi-spectral mirrors here, we're only taking from two to fill this up. 
but we can't go full speed with the flat solar panels. Why are we not making these? Because there's no multi-spectral mirrors? That's not right. There's solar panels here. There's no multi-spectral mirrors here. It looks like I just forgot... No, wait, this direct inserts. There's no chemical gel. Why is there no chemical gel? Because there's no chemical gel. It's a tautology. Uh, yeah, I seem to recall that compared to... Compared to the demand for it, we're making chemical gel quite slowly here. Uh, seems like these other machines are hardly doing anything. Uh, we did change something so that we'd be... We fixed cracking, I remember that. Hey, Whiskers. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Excess Hive. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well also. Did you see the pic for those sharks trapped in a golf course pond due to the floods? No, poor things. There are some really aggressive ones like hammerheads, but sharks are basically sea dozers. Um, okay, so I don't really want to try to cram in more cracking over here, but it looks like we sort of need to. Although this has 3.1 thousand petroleum, but that's not really... It's all getting brought over here. Yeah, we need, we need more petroleum. Um, if we want to keep churning out solar panels at speed. So let's see, water and light oil. We don't have water over here. Um, we've got it here. We're not putting petroleum, oh yes we are. You know what I could do, although it would be really awkward at this point. Wait. All the petroleum... Uh, it doesn't really make a difference overall for throughput now, but we're pumping all this petroleum out this way, and it's basically full in this direction. Similarly, if I take advantage of the water and light oil that's here, ultimately we're just taking from this. Um, so can I maybe... Maybe fit some more cracking in here somewhere? I never really thought I'd be running out of space in this section. This is all supposed to be complete overkill, but... Uh, once we switched to using chemical gel for this stuff, which is has its advantages, but it's a lot more petroleum demanding. Which, we actually did that because we had too much petroleum. Uh, oh, two of these machines are working. No, nope, that's just temporary. Uh... Let me just fix the... there we go. Okay. It seems... All of this is still in my... oh, nope. Okay, we're not draining the light oil fast enough to get the most out of this. And that's slowing petroleum down as well. So yeah, we really need to... Spaghetti in some extra cracking here. I think I'm just going to do it like this, honestly. Um, we could pretty easily do a couple of these here.
And then it's just a matter of getting the petroleum pipe. Oh, which we've already got down this way. And I think that already goes back. There's no pump in the way. Okay. So this goes... Uh, like here. I don't think we need that bit of pipe, but whatever. I might just do it like this. And as for the water and light oil, I'm going to need to get the spiders over there. I was going to say ride over there myself, but I'm not in orbit right now. Okay, so first of all, whoops, uh, first of all, we need to get rid of these big pipes for the moment, and how long is this? Nine tiles. Uh, let's just do it like, wait, what? Light oil is here. Oh, I see. So it's going to be something like... That's pretty good. And how many tiles is this? 7... 13. There's no way that... Oh, yes, there is. 553. Five, Okay, and I don't think we're going to end up copying the same thing for the water. Oh, that's a problem. Uh, okay, get rid of that one. Don't get rid of that, actually. Let's figure out the water first, and then we'll know where we can put... Uh, the light oil. Don't do that. Three, six, nine. This is seven. It's not going to collide with anything? Nope. Okay. So then... Up here, please. Water goes here. And here. And I guess that could be a 3B, actually. And light oil. Gonna need a fiver. And a fiver. Underground. And whatever fits here most comfortably. Cool. Don't forget some power. And we're also going to need those biochemical facilities. They may already be on the way. What's this? I can't... It's a pipe. What's this? That's a pipe. Uh, how many biochemical... Not enough space in chest. That's not too surprising. Okay. Uh, how many biochemical facilities do we have? I don't think we have any. Yeah, so either we already had those two and they're on the way, or we don't have any up here. Um, I guess I'll get the construction bots to help with emptying this out. And... Then this thing will be able to get rid of the steel and switch recipes and stuff. Even that's taking longer than I would like. A lot longer, actually. I suppose... 
Hmm. Okay. We're gonna need some more of these. Okay, now that's actually going much faster. Uh, that might just help. Oh, the insert is only trying to take from here, but Crafting Combinator is trying to dump all of this at once into here, so because it doesn't have re room for, uh, what, 45, 46, 47, that's almost a full chest. Uh, because it doesn't have room for almost a full chest to dump this stuff into, it's not switching recipes. Um, I guess this doesn't help either in that case. Let's just get the bots to empty this out. Okay. Uh, there's no circuitry connected to this chest or anything, so I should be able to ignore it, and if I check on it again and the chest is gone, we can fix it without using undo or anything. There's that mostly emptied western side of the globe that I remember. Uh, we actually had a bit of a scare, I don't remember if this was on stream, but I just launched some artillery over here and it was a bit too much for this corner. Definitely should have built this part a bit more sturdy, but as long as I don't shoot too many artillery shells over here all at once, it's actually totally fine. Uh, meanwhile, we have girders. Fantastic. Which means we have uh, artillery shells. This is actually interplanetary artillery shells, but they're getting used. Uh, they're getting fired directly at Malvis. By itself, it's not gonna keep up with the. Attr uh, I don't think we're going to win attrition-wise with just those artillery cannons uh, taking out a nest every now and then, but it definitely doesn't hurt. Speaking of which, uh, let's get... Wait, what? Oh, I... Oh, that's right, it was in the other save that I'm... Not in orbit. Okay, can I handcraft one of these? I just need some LDS. That might be a bit faster. Um, might be a bit faster than resolving this issue first. Oh, here we go. Purple chest goes here, and the moment that gets placed, uh, the crafting combinator should be able to empty the, uh, yep, there we go. Apparently we're on steel chests right now. That is very fast. But also, I don't think we even have a request for, um, what are they called? Biochemical facilities? Let's make sure we always have ten. Uh... I don't understand why it's trying to make a cargo rocket again, though. Oh. That might explain it. Right then. I think for these items that take a ludicrous... individual items that, that take a lot of stuff to build, uh, probably not the best idea to use the... Uh, the auto crafter for that, sadly, which is unfortunate because it makes complete sense to use an auto crafter for those because you don't often have to build these. 
but just the trouble with swapping all of the resources out when it changes recipe. Uh, not too helpful. Let's grab some LDS so we can just handcraft what we need for the moment. Okay. Did I do the thing? I did not do the Discord thing. There we go. And welcome, big whiskers and XSI. Okay. Now then, uh, LDS. Uh, biochemical facility. Oh, it's only made in a space manufacturing. In that case, let's just. Go give it a hand if it needs more resources. Pumps, chemical plants, glass, and LDS. Let's go. Well, that's one. I need some glass now. Do we have some glass lying around here? Fantastic. And the bots are already on their way to build it. Nice. Do we have speed modules lying around in the... Uh, logistic network? Not sure. But yeah, let's go double or... I think triple... Our capacity for cracking... Actually, I'm not sure where I'm going to put a limiter on cracking light oil to petroleum, if I put those here. Hmm. I think I'll just worry about that later. Okay, let's have a look at our military, oh, that's the construction spiders. Where did we park our giant spider robot army? Uh, let's see. I actually really don't know. Why are we missing stuff to build here? Is it in the robo network? Yes. Eight and solar panel. Are we requesting those? Yes. I wonder what's going on. Oh. Drop off five seconds of inactivity. Are you unable to path out of here? No. That seems fine. You are on automatic. Five seconds of inactivity. There you go. And... go. Okay, so that wasn't the problem. Why are we not getting gates and solar panels delivered here? Oh, it's in a separate robo-network. We've probably already got everything. Easy enough. Should be a bot delivering that in a, two seconds. And then, there it goes. Pretty much an is it plugged in issue. Uh, I think I can probably... That's not powered there. Alright, one more substation down here. And now that chest can be reached. On the very off chance that this is where the biters are going to end up. Yeah, I don't think 
don't think they're going to have too much trouble. But I'm still wondering where are our military spiders? We haven't lost them, right? Spider. Not for 50 hours-ish. Uh, 35 hours have we lost a spider. Hey, Mad Mike. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I love watching you build it overcomplicated. Always very interesting, but I'm so happy I'm doing it the easy way for my own playthrough. Fair enough. Separate disconnected networks, indeed. Trolling the bots? I would never. Okay, so we know our spiders are alive somewhere. Uh, the question is where? Unfortunately, the remotes that I have that are programmed to move the leaders around won't work via navigation satellite. Um, oh, is this it? This is it. Fantastic. Let's find the leaders. And how many rockets do they have left? A lot. And a lot. Okay, cool. Uh, let's just set these up for muscle memory. And... I wonder where I should start. Why don't we go south and clear this whole area, since it's got some bottlenecks going into it. Uh, a one, and a two. Should be fine. Um, and then try and get them to arrive here at about the same time. Make sure that one doesn't get away. Uh, I guess I'll have group two go back this way. And... This might be a bit much to queue up in one go, actually. Let's get them to park here when they're done. Saverino. Cool. Now then, we've got our... We've almost got our cracking. Uh, let's grab our pipes. And come to think of it, that's actually... That's actually the perfect location to put a couple of pumps here so that we can have a condition for these. Uh, it doesn't really matter if we put the condition on the input or the output. Where are my pumps, though? Pump. I don't have any. Spiders are probably carrying some. There we go. Now then. Uh, if we follow this wire... This isn't in use. Yeah, we can do that. So we know how much uh, heavy, lo heavy light and petroleum we've got in a single tank on the left over here. And we're just going to say, uh, crack to petroleum if we've got less than 5k, sure. You can actually copy the settings before connecting it to a wire. That save. 
that save. Let's check on the spiders real quick. I'm a little concerned. Uh, looks like they are a thousand percent fine. Although, they're going to be significantly more out of sync than I thought. Although they tend to get uh, automatically synced up a little bit because when they get slowed down by the spit, the other ones catch up. And if they're not getting slowed down the, by the spit at all, then they're really not in danger. Fantastic. Alright, let's continue, shall we? Oh, that is a beautiful sight. We've already roughly quadrupled our rate of making chemical gel. Well, not quite. I was going to put some speed modules in here, but now that I see the machines aren't going all the time, there's no need. Uh, but yeah, chemical gel... Uh, how fast are these? Let's pretend that they're going full speed. 80 per second. Uh, 100k. Is 1200 and... Wait, what? 1250 seconds. 21 minutes. So probably more like 25 to 30 minutes before we get another train load of chemical gel, uh, which we need for the multispectral mirrors, which we need to keep, uh, keep making flat solar panels. What's going on here? 3.2k. Oh, I, un I understand immediately. Okay. I should have changed this before, but, um, Considering we're only getting 3.4 of these per second, uh, I definitely should have made sure that these were precise with their balanced loading. So there would have been enough here um, to fill a train load, but it wasn't quite balanced enough. And our production of tier 2 flat solar panels has stopped for now. So there's what? Uh, 800 flat solars in here. This is only 630 something. It must have been close. As in, we must have had barely more than enough to fill a train here. Okay. What is next? Well, while we're traveling, let's check on our spiders. Seems they are totally fine. How's their ammo? Very high still. I think I saw a 200 in there, so this group's a little bit more dry. Baker Staunch, good to see you again. Thank you very much for the Prime sub. Much appreciated. Hope you, uh... We're in the same city, right? You got. I hope you got through the flooding okay. Hey, Zura. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, we were fine. How was your place? Uh, let's just say if I had been on the first floor... Um, it would have been very, very bad. Uh, as it is, I didn't directly lose anything, but uh, after the actual water subsided, and then we didn't have power for a week, I moved my stuff away just to keep it safe. Uh, but my monitor seems to be dead now. Um, I think it was... On, like, a little bit on its way out. Or it may even still work if I'm very lucky if I, like, jiggle the power connector just right. It worked for, like... Well, I don't think it would have stopped working. It, it worked for a little bit 
as soon as I got home and plugged it in, think, uh, crossing my fingers that it would just be like a finicky connection, because I've had that issue before, but uh, unfortunately, as, as soon as I, as soon as I was very relieved to see it was working and then very carefully plugged everything else in trying to disturb it as little as possible, uh, it hasn't powered up since. So I'll have to be grabbing a new monitor. Uh, but yeah, everything's basically fine. Um... Much to my pleasant surprise, monitors are not as expensive as I expected at this point. I did have that monitor for like maybe nine years, so it's not that big a deal. That was my first uh, first monitor with higher than a 60 hertz refresh rate actually. But yeah, everything's basically fine. With cracking oil I have two conditions. One is there is enough petroleum, the other is there's too much medium oil. I used to do, uh, my condition was just like heavy oil greater than light and then light oil greater than petroleum, but I can't remember why we ran into some kind of issue where that wasn't a good enough condition. Um, for this setup. Or maybe I was just trying to make sure that there's a gap here, um, which probably isn't needed for petroleum. Uh, it was just sort of a... Uh, if you're going in blind to how a fluid works, best practice kind of thing because of how coolant works. You have it as a... I, I think it probably is only coolant that we expel as like a side product for lack of a better way of saying it. But I would rather just keep things not quite full and find out that I didn't need to do that than later find out, oh, because, because the chemical gel pipes are full, we're actually in trouble. Thankfully, they're not too bad unless you want lots of good features. Yeah, I'm not overly concerned by that. As long as the refresh rate's high, the response time is low, and the picture isn't bad, um, it's fine by me. And it's I'm pleasantly surprised to see how low you can go relatively uh, with the cost of those now. Uh, while I'm at it, I'm going to finally get some faster RAM. Or more to the point, dual channel. I can't go much faster than I've already got on this machine. Um, but yeah, I've I've been shackled to that one hasty purchase uh, for long enough, I think. Okay, so where are we? What are we missing over here? Some uh, logistic train stops I need. Steel, mostly. Let's go grab some. And turn this on. Check on Nalvis. And spiders are chillin'. Blue has lots of ammo. Green has a decent amount of ammo. Uh, so let's get them sorted out again. Okay. I can probably clear out like about this much before ammo gets dodgy. I uh, don't think we need like two groups to attack that one, but everything else is a bit, a bit much. So we'll keep them together.
Okay, back to orbit. We've got our... We do not have our steel, actually. I'm a little bit surprised. Uh, I could just steal some steel from over here, or I could get the trains to bring it. It'd be a better long-term solution. Apparently all I've requested for this place so far is rocket fuel. Did I set it so that... Yeah, we can use small trains here. I don't... I think rocket fuel was the only one I got around to changing so that small trains can pick up from this. Um, changed it to a stack size of seven for each chest. And we'll just be relying on them picking up from here quickly. Hmm. Wait, what? How did this happen? I'll fix that when we get there. Okay, anyway. I think I'm just gonna... Considering how much is gonna flow through here, maybe I'll just try not worrying about it for now. Um, I'll just let trains of any size pick up from here. Okay, so I'm going to request uh, 4,000 steel. And I wonder, and I don't think it necessarily checks whether it makes more sense to send a big train or a small train. I've seen big trains uh, going when they're allowed to, to pick up small amounts of items. A Costco Taquitos. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Hax is back, indeed. The one thing I think the storms did, my internet connection has been really flaky the last week or so. Ouch. That is one thing uh, where I've been really lucky with this place. Um... Shockingly, the inter the internet worked just fine while uh, while the water was literally waist high outside, um, which is rare in Australia to say the least. For a lot of people, they're forced to take it for granted that when it rains, the internet gets bad. Beep beep beep! Welcome welcome. Hope you're doing well. Hello, new to SpaceX. Uh, I am, I would not say new to SpaceX, although it is my first playthrough, but a playthrough of SpaceX is quite long and I am not that fast. Here comes our train. And it is a short train. Oh, I should probably send the spiders to fix that little uh, gap as well. If I do that, I can just fire and forget, and I'll come back. Speaking of... This is what I should have done before. What I was talking about how with the autocrafter, it's not necessarily a great idea um, to have them craft things that require huge amounts of individual resources. Uh, indiv for individual recipes, rather. Um, random copper plate inserter. If we have requester chests, and there's room for a great many requester chests pointing at the space manufactory with all of the common input items, we can also do like a blacklist for for what will get applied to these uh, for, to this requester chest here. Um, then we can avoid putting way too much stuff in our dynamic requester chest. But I don't think that's going to help as far as uh, as far as it goes for. 
emptying this thing when it switches recipes. I guess we could always just do something like that. That actually makes a lot of sense. We, we need to do it in a chain because the overflow chest specified by the crafting combinator is one specific chest. And I guess these should be purple if we're going to do that. Yeah. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense, actually. One, two, three... Nine. And we could do 18 if we wanted to without even disrupting this layout that we've already got. We could just about have a full chest for every intermediate product. Uh, frequently used intermediate product, that is. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Not really 12. Yeah, everything that we use in high volume and very frequently uh, we could have in these chests and just put large negative numbers on a constant combinator and feed like a green wire to these requester chests. Uh, just like with set filters, if you feed a zero or negative signal to set requests, uh, those requests will not be set. So you can use that for a blacklist. Uh, anyway, there was something... That's right. Uh, train stops. How many train stops are we missing here? Uh, 31 plus a normal one. a few more than I expected. Okay. Let's go park ourselves here so that those get placed. Check on Nalvis. Spiders are chilling with moderate ammo, let's say. Very difficult to see the yellow one here. Oh, there we go. And purple. Okay. I think the yellows have more ammo right... Oh, uh, the green squad, rather, has more ammo right now. That was a little bit careless with the clicking. Should be okay, though. And... I th think I will send them home after that. Go get resupplied. That's not going to get blocked by water anywhere. I don't think so. Cool. Missiles away. What kind of fish do they use in space sushi? Space fish. I'm surprised space elevators aren't out yet. That's a little disappointing. Why you gotta call it SpaceX? <laughs> I didn't name it. Same fish as the ponds. Wait, are there actually fish that you can find in space? Like our sacred space trees? It just occurred to me I can move these around if I want as well. But, uh, no, I, I think we'll keep them where they are. Alright, did we get all of the 
Train stops, not even close. How many do we need? Uh, 10 plus 1. Let's do the 1. Oh. Are we not in RoboBot range? I guess not. And 10. Alright. We need a bunch of electromagnetic facilities, laser facilities. I think. I thought I had a hypercooler. Well, I mean, I know we've got some back here. We've got those on automatic. Uh, electromag. Hypercooler. These are switched on, right? Yeah, okay, cool. There's our particle accelerators, hypercoolers. Still trying to make more biochemical. Do we not have the chemical plants? Oh, I forgot to. I forgot to fix that inserter up. All right, cool. Uh, what was I looking for though? Some kind of electromagnetic facilities. Are we requesting those here? Yes. And we don't have any. Okay. Still handcrafting this. A little bit surprised. Should probably add train stops. What are we trying to make here? We need heat shielding and copper plate. Uh, plate. May as well add the basics while we're at it. And glass. Stone brick. Uh, I might grab some... How many things am I likely to want to handcraft that need multi-spectral mirrors? I'll leave it for now, that's literally just a stone's throw away. Uh, heat shielding and LDS. Wait, what? Uh, 2000? Okay, and I need to change... All of these make sure they allow short trains. That's a lot of stations. And I think I will go ahead and uh, limit these. Where is it? Rocket fuel. There we go. Uh, I'm going to limit these to... Seven stacks per chest. So that by the time we reach the provide threshold... Uh, there should be enough to fill each cargo wagon. We've already got ludicrous storage for these things coming from the uh, cargo landing pads, not to mention the very long belts, so I'm not too worried about that. Although, it might, well, not as an overall throughput thing, but in bursts, I guess it would take longer um, from one train to the next. Uh, that's probably fine. Right then, got all these built. Fantastic. What are we missing now? 
Uh, let's check. Constant combinators. Wasn't expecting that. Uh, I can make a couple, but yeah, I haven't automated them up here. We're still... Oh, that's right. We need heat shield in here. I'm just trying to get everything required for the stuff that we're trying to get the auto crafter to make. Seems like there's only one recipe at the moment, so anything I add is going to start getting made right away. Um, this is switched off. I don't think I want that. And so is this. Okay. Why don't we work on... Our list of stuff that's going to be uh, always available. First of all, is going to be. We'll just do like a thousand of each. See how that goes. Uh, iron, copper. Steel, uh, glass, and then stone brick, concrete, what else? Blue circuits over here, uh, 2000. Uh, anything else? Batteries. That's, uh, that's 40 stacks. Well, I'll just add things when we notice that they're needed. And while we're at it, uh, why don't we add some more purple chests down here, just so that when it does switch recipes from the big things, uh, it should be easier to find room for them. Alright, fantastic. Queensland net at the moment, anyone else getting stream buffering? Uh, that's unfortunate. Poor Aussie net and sopping wet now. <laughs> yeah. Plus 2k instead of minus 2k? Wait, what? Oh, was this, um, up here? 4k, 2k. Got it. Thank you. Putting others in a fixed combinator. Yep. Uh, so when was this buffering? Like, nine minutes ago. Sorry, I'm not as good checking the chat. I don't have two monitors for now. Has it still been buffering a lot? Come to think of it, I probably should have uh, run a speed test, I suppose. That might not be the worst idea. If it continues, I'll... Uh, I'll see how much I've got available and maybe change the quality. Thank you very much for the gifted sub, Baker. Much appreciated. 87 in the channel, wow. That really is fantastic, thank you. 
uh yeah let me let me know if it's over the next few minutes if it's bad enough that maybe i should uh restart the stream see how much bandwidth i've got hopefully lowering it to like 30 i don't remember if uh, when things were running well I, I had it on 60 frames uh for the stream so uh dropping it to 30 might make a lot of sense at this point unfortunately Uh, red and green circuits, though. Are we getting those? It's still trying to supply steel. Uh, I could change the train limit on this. That would probably help. Also, maybe I could have a separate station for the short trains? For the drop-off? Oh, we've already got this here. No, this is, um... Why is it all glass and LDS? This is a regular train stop. Trash drop off. Oh, right. We were having some issues earlier. It's still trying to empty this LDS train. Well, that might take a minute, I guess. Or oh, there was another train that came back here without emptying itself. That should only ever happen manually, but I thought I remembered the issues. Oh. What's going on here? Uh, I'm going to guess that... No, I thought I fixed this already. Yeah, we've definitely got a balanced loader here. So, what's going on? Um, so you have less than 8k scrap. These two... It's the same two cargo wagons as last time, the ones at the end of the belt. Ultimately, I could just use splitters to make sure this doesn't happen. But... Provide stack threshold is 160, which is exactly one long train. Uh, and we do... wait. We're not missing the red wires, that happened a while ago. Um, each divided by negative 24, output each. Let me just look at this side, uh, side on. It'll be easier to see what's going on with the wires this way. Uh, it looks fine. All of the chests are connected. All of the inserters are connected. They each have a red wire going to the individual chest. Actually, I think I can... They all have the same setting. They are strictly balanced loader. I actually have no idea why, uh, why this keeps happening. Hmm. Okay, uh, what I might do for now... Is it really just 24 trash, or did the bots take it just now? No, there's, there's not enough scrap to fill this train. How did we end up with... How did we end up with this train coming here if there wasn't enough scrap? That is very strange to me. Um... I kind of need to catch this train in the act next time, but we're still waiting on a lot of chemical gel. Oh, we did get some chemical gel, actually. What's this? LDS. It seems that's what we need here. Good timing. 
seems like we're now going to uh, see all of this in motion. And since we're using the recipe that makes five scrap per multi-spectral mirror, um, the other one does need chemical gel, right? It needs five times less chemical gel. Maybe I should use that. Except I would have to completely reconfigure this whole block here with the inputs, not to mention that overall this definitely uses fewer resources. Okay, but we're getting like... We're actually bottlenecking on the inserters with this. Uh, let's try stack inserters, but with precise balancing. See if that's fast enough. Yeah, that's definitely fast enough. Uh, maximum scrap output from here is 85 per second. Very nearly a pair of belts. And we've got... Am I imagining it, or...? It seems like we do have slightly less scrap in these, this pair of cargo wagons. Uh, the chests, that is. But I think... I think that just gets chalked up to the stack inserters taking turns. Uh, how much do we have here? 4.3k, stacks to 50. We're halfway to a train. It's taking long enough to unload the LDS that it's actually almost going to block the scrap train. I suppose I could move all of this down a little bit. And we wouldn't have that traffic issue. That might be worth doing. I don't think it's going to make that much of a difference overall. Um, but yeah, I really do want to see what happens when a train is summoned here. Okay. Uh, why don't we check on Nalvis for a minute then? Spiders are... back home and safe. Fantastic. I think I can see the purple one there. And judging by the lack of bot movement, they're all rearmed. Uh, there's our purple. Let's get you guys back. They've just barely got a straight line down to there. Pretty sure. Yeah, they can cross that. Okay. Oh, there's our train. Almost missed it. Well, we're up we're we're clearly making more scrap while the train is still being loaded here, so it's definitely not going to have any trouble getting enough to fill a train this time. So I don't think we're going to get any hints as to the mystery of the not-quite-balanced, not-quite-full scrap train this time. Which is sort of unfortunate. Sort of. Solar panels go here. Hey, Engie. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Umo. Uh, Umo. Can't say I understand. It is nice to see these all going full speed. 
Uh, let's see how much we've got. Where did I build that? Uh, here it is. We've already got only 2.8k uh, flat solar panels, actually, although that does mean 140 stacks. So we're like a quarter of the way to filling a rocket. It's not bad, actually. Let's go grab the electromagnetic facilities. Actually, I don't know if they'll be built yet. Hopefully. Those are still particle accelerators. We're still making... Do we have uranium fuel cells? Of course not. Okay. Why don't we make a couple of those? In fact, I should probably start... How do we have no electronic circuits here still? Green circuits. 230k. Oh, I didn't change it so that short trains can pick it up. Long trains only. Provide stack threshold 160. Uh, it would help if we requested the green circuits. Uh, so let's say... One cargo wagon. Until I change that one combinator, I think we're just going to get a long train delivering six, uh, 32k of these. It's taking its sweet time, though. Uh, where did we put... Oh, I did update these. I must have missed one. There it is. Okay. Why don't I do it this way? Much easier. I would zoom out to go a bit faster, but I don't want to miss one or mess something up. And there is our green circuits. Fantastic. And red and blue. Um, but yeah, I was about to go all the way back here to pick up certain items, but I suppose I should really just be setting it up so we build those down here. Especially since we've got everything being sent to us from the ground in this area. So, we're going to need a lot more constant combinators to fit everything that we want to make here. Um, but for now, let's do some of these. Of course, we're not going to get there until we finish some chests first. For that, we need red circuits. They should already be on their way. Yep. Cool. And let's check on the spooters. They're still traveling. None of them got stuck. Fantastic. Uh, I just want to make sure when they park, they're not getting sniped. Can I click this? There we go. All right. Red circuits, still not here. Here we go. Fantastic. I like how the uh, crafting time for these is literally like 
three frames of animation or so. I suppose we could even, since we're going to be making a lot of chests, maybe it would even make sense to have a few of them in here. Hey, there we go, building something else. Fantastic. And the... These should definitely be stack inserters. Uh, the output stack inserter just can't keep up. Nice. Good morning, yes I'm fine, thanks. Workload, fair enough. Thanks for stopping by. Uh... Yeah, my upload speed's fluctuating. It's dropping down to almost 5k. Are we still getting any buffering? Dropped frames 38%. Yikes. How's the space base? A Maholic? Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, space base is going pretty well. I'm thinking it might be good to change my streaming settings. Let me just double check something here. Okay. Yeah, I, I think I'm gonna drop the frame rate for consistency. Haven't noticed any? Oh, okay. Maybe it stopped. 108,000. I've only been here for 20 minutes or so, but I haven't noticed any buffering. Okay, in that case, we'll see how we go. Uh, maybe next time I'll just drop the frame rate, at least in the meantime. Alright, so we have... we need small electric motors. Um, we're not bringing up small electric motors. Do I care enough about the productivity bonus um, for just the personal... I, I think for something like science it makes a ton of sense, uh, for example, to make sure we use productivity bonuses all the way through, but maybe for the small amount, a relatively small amount of stuff that I'm going to be using for, like, personally building things, like pumps, for example. Uh, it might be better to just not worry about the productivity bonuses up here. So we could... I think if we're going to have these things making prerequisites, though, we can try. It's probably going to do them in the wrong order or something. However. Oops. Oh, we didn't get to making uh, constant combinators yet, did we? Alright, so that's going to go here. And we're going to say... This, this, and this. And of course, it's not going to happen to appear early enough in the ordering to get built first. Hmm. 
that alone makes me almost want to bother sending up these products. We've already got a lot of it in the rail network down here. We do have some cargo rockets available already, and we've got a blueprint for sending different things up. So maybe we should... Otherwise I would have to... I, I think I do have a bunch of small... Okay, here we go. This I like this better for now. Let's just do a little bit... of making intermediate products here. I might change that later, but for now I just want stuff working. Okay. Thank you for... Hey, Mucky! Thank you very much for the sub. Much appreciated. Seven months. Nice, thank you. I haven't seen you streaming for a bit. Uh, have you been okay with the flooding and everything? Are we missing stuff here? Need to check this box. Should have done that beforehand. So I could then copy paste more easily. About 1500 kilometers southwest of the flood zone. That'll do it. That is a preferable location. And just so you, everyone's aware, we cannot productivity these, unfortunately. I guess it couldn't hurt too much to speed module them. Uh, but yeah, small electric motor. Okay, cool. Now that that's out of the way, um, that's right, I wanted electromagnetic. We've definitely got hypercoolers already. Uh, we actually already have enough radiation facilities. It's just electromag and one hypercooler. I think I'll just go for a ride in a spider to pick up the uh, hypercoolers. Even though I will be automating this place to make them. And there go even more green circuits. We do in fact check if we've already got enough of these things, right? Seems okay. Now then. up scrap. This might be an opportunity to see if uh, they've all got like 10 stacks each already so we're definitely not going to see any trouble like we did earlier with the train. I do want to move those stations down so that they're not 
blocking this one. I don't think it matters too much if it's blocking uh, the flat solar panel pickup because that just doesn't have enough to summon a train too often. Okay, meanwhile on Nervous. Uh, it's definitely time to issue some actual orders. Uh, I want to continue down here. Let's have you go back after that, and this way. That should be fine. Now then, hypercoolers. Yoink. I'll take some space manufactories with me as well. Um, the rest I'm not too concerned about for the moment. Let's bring them back down here. And actually we can finally build some of this stuff. I'm gonna need some substations for this section. Actually, we can almost power the entire thing with just one substation. If only that bit was... Uh, we could do this, I suppose. Wait a sec, there's a missing... There's missing power poles down here. Alright, let's fill this out, shall we? And if we put a substation over here, it just barely doesn't reach across like that. Unfortunate. What if this was a big pole? Yeah, that kind of works. Maybe. Alright, cool. Oops. Spiders still have a way to go. Let's check on rows. Zero spiders on the entire planet. Fantastic. And it seems we are completely full when it comes to Vitamelange core fragments. Nice. Uh, that kind of happened sooner than I expected, but on the other hand, we haven't really scaled up our consumption of it again yet. Erudite is the more interesting item at the moment. Uh, because we constantly need girders uh, to shell the biters on Nalvis. I do have a couple of planets with Iridite where... Uh, let's see, is it Fornax? For example, I've taken advantage of a direct Iridite mine. So we're going to have above normal throughput uh, of Iridite for quite a long time to come. Still haven't got these delivery cannons. Uh, I thought I automated... We need heat shielding. What do we need for heat shielding? Sulfur. What do we need for sulfur? Or rather, how do we get the sulfur... 
a passive provider chest. That's what's missing from this entire equation. That and a fast inserter, apparently. Um... This doesn't really need to be here, does it? That should do it. Unless those items have somewhere else to be. Why am I still only seeing one bot? Where did, where did our passive provider chest go? Oh, the spider took it. That makes sense. Okay, could you please pay this chest a visit? And what's this? There's a missing inserter here as well. Spider's probably carrying them right now. Uh, I think I see... Yep, blue inserters. Fantastic. And away goes the sulfur. And hopefully that's all we need to get at least a couple more cannons over here. Right then. Uh, we've got everything except for most of the electromagnetic facilities now. Haven't done this belt layout here yet. Um, this one doesn't have any scrap or anything. This has contaminated scrap. 25 degree thermofluid. Uh, this one... Oh, that's right, we came up with a nice way to do sort of long-arm filter inserters with belts. Quite like that. How close are we to electromagnetic facilities? Not even. We need small electric poles if we're going to make medium electric poles. Okay. Did that just make like 20 of them, even though I only asked for five? Because it made them so fast? That'll work. Okay. Uh, let's see. So this spits out ten, uh, negative ten degree. This takes in negative ten and spits out a negative one hundred and twenty-five. The train delivers uh, negative one hundred, and I think both of these use negative one hundred and spit out twenty-five. Yes. Okay. Cool. Uh, we might need more hypercoolers here. Actually, I, no, I think I already ratioed this. Uh, cold thermofluid. Negative 100. Wait, what? Cold thermofluid. Yeah, yeah, these are the only ones that spit out negative 10. So that's what I need to look at. Uh, okay, that's way more than enough to consume all of the negative 10 degree. So then we can, as far as the stations go, ignore the negative 10 degree thermofluid. Um, let's put a belt here, sh underground, shall we? Actually, what would look better? I'm not sure how those belts are going to look. Let's just do this. Okay. 
Okay. So our actual product goes here. Then we've got scrap and junk data card to deal with. Um, this is a pickup for thermofluid. That must be the negative, the 25 degree stuff. Did I connect all of this? Doesn't look like it. So we need the Uh, this is all just tentative. Just sort of a guide. 25 degree thermofluid needs to go here. Um, and out of there over here as well. Maybe it would be better if I put this thing up here and then the pipe could... This is already a little bit messy. Alright, uh, that's going to be in the way. I don't really want to slide pipe down through there. Let's just do this for now, and it's just sort of a guide for later. So we've got final product one, two, three, four. I think I wanted to have all of those at this station. Not sure why I've got two rows of chests here. This one, have I named it already? Yeah, this is going to be all of the scrap. All, all of the things that we want to get rid of. We'll have to have a high priority pickup. Okay. Not sure why provide stack threshold would be three cargo wagons full. Um, let's get the spiders a bit closer. Be this. And then... Set filters blacklist, each negative, average, fantastic. Oh, that's why. Yeah, I th think the reason... I think what I might have been thinking here is... We don't need to use a precise loader if we just summon the train before it would be completely full. We do need to stop swinging the inserters once they... Um, once the train has the amount that it's asking for, though, because if we do keep going and if we either keep going until the train is full or uh, if the inserters keep trying to swing when the train decides to leave, they're going to stick out and be providing the wrong item for the next train. So we're going to need an arithmetic combinator to subtract... Uh, the contents of the train. And... Since... Uh, since all we're doing is setting the filters for these, I don't think we have to worry about the other signals that are going to come out of this. And that should be okay. Uh, 
Um, alright, so... No scrap from here. I kind of wish I'd done this one on the left now. This one has two kinds of scrap. We don't actually need to filter those into different belts, because it's all going to a sushi belt anyway. And... Wait, what's the max rate? Uh, I need the, uh... I need the rest of these electromagnetic facilities to check that. Uh, I want to know the max rate of all of the scrap and stuff for this area, but I think I've probably checked that before. We're still trying to make medium poles. Uh, I definitely don't want to make logistic bots locally. I think we can just send those up. Oh, any kind of bots, rather. We could probably... I don't know, actually, it might make more sense to send up the flying robot frames and then make them up here. It's not like you can get productivity uh, bonuses on these. Yeah. Sort of a little bit on a whim. I think I might make this flying robot. And let's get that sorted as soon as possible. Oh, I forgot to add an icon for this one. Not iron stick, but aeroframe pole. This one seems to be vacant. So let's set the... Uh, there we go. Let's set this to flying robot frame. Flying robot frame requester. Uh, what does it stack to? 50, I think. Fifty. So we're looking for 25,000, I believe. Yep. Twenty-five thousand. So that's going to be bring flying robot frames to our rocket here. Novus Orbit flying robot frame launch on cargo full. That should be all it takes. I don't yet s oh, there we go. So 8,000 at a time, that's going to be, uh... Wait, what am I doing? It's 25k. Uh, a little bit more than three train loads. For this thing will launch. I need to configure it at this end as well. Isn't this one already? Yes, it is. Oh. So, we change all of these filters to... Flying Robot Frame. This, uh... Storage chest... Only takes Flying Robot Frames. That's in case of crashes. And this blacklist is also flying robot frames. And that goes to the trash pickup. Cool. I think that's all it takes. Uh, we don't need to change anything here, I don't think. But... It might be good just to have a station name set up. 
that shouldn't be fish pickup. That should be arrow frame pull. Chromium cable. And solar panel. Fantastic. Flying robot frame. Divider. And we've already got a giant container that then evenly outputs to these four cargo wagons. So we can definitely allow short trains to pick up from these, I think. If we limit the chest sizes to seven... Uh, we should see it'll be a little bit more than a train load um, that can go in these chests. So if a short train comes to pick it up, it'll be rebalanced. And we won't end up summoning a train that can't be filled. Although that would only happen if our supply of whatever's being sent up here uh, happens to run out at just the wrong time. Um, but yeah, I want to make sure small trains can pick up from all of these. And if we look back at Nalvis... We should see some flying robot frames here. Fantastic. Already 108 stacks. Let's add a little icon so we know what's going on here. And how much do we... I can't actually see how much we've got here already. Not much, but there's another train on the way. So that is probably our second train. Fantastic. Um, so I did remove the requests to make robots here earlier. I'll re-add them when we've got some flying robot frames up here. Flying robot frame... 2k. What's going on here? Trash pickup. Destination full. Oh, you're trying to... Yeah, none of these trash pickups have anything to offer you. But also, you're... Wait, what? I think... So this train has not actually stopped. I should probably have set this to empty cargo. How many other trash trains do we have up here? Just the one? Yeah, just the one. Alright, that should be fine. We need more logistic bots here. Now that we've got the supply chain set up for them, um... We can start using a lot more of them, and not worry, uh, not keep them at 50 to prevent them from crashing. We do still have exactly 50 logistic bots here, and exactly 50 logistic bots here, so that tells me it's per robo network, not per surface. That is interesting. So that means you can have literally any number of logistic bots and no bot attrition as long as you limit them to 50 per robo network. I don't think it would be worth the trouble to make a bunch of robo networks that are just barely separated or anything like that. 
but for certain circumstances it definitely has something to say about what you might do. Time to check on our spiders on Navis. They are doing just fine. And let's get them to continue, shall we? I think I'll have group one do this lot. And this slot should be fine. Cool. Uh, probably have them meet up again after that just to be safe. Alright, let's ride a spider. Uh, hopefully just back here. What are we still trying to make? Combinators and... Wait, why are... Why do we... Oh, I forgot I kept this here. That's that's not quite right. Alright, so we're trying to make sirens of all things. I think we can skip those for now. And do we have everything... I believe so. Maybe not accumulators, actually. Don't think I've got accumulators being sent up by rocket just yet. So I think it's time to add another block for receiving these things. Already laid out the scaffolding here. I'll copy this and then get rid of the filters. Or rather, most importantly, I need to get rid of the cargo landing pad names. Um, before I take a moment to make a... Wait, didn't I already make a blueprint out of this? Uh, let's see. Space exploration. Nervous orbit cargo. That's not quite right. I think this was the one I did remember to blueprint. And I probably don't yet have a blueprint for the landing pads. Uh, the thing I have to be careful of is to make sure that the landing pads don't have names when I copy them and have them plonked down. Otherwise, we might immediately get a rocket delivery that we don't particularly want. Speaking of rocket deliveries, here comes our first lot of 25,000 flying robot frames. That should keep us going for at least a minute. And I suppose, well, we're not going to get this until we get accumulators in any case. Wait, can we make accumulators here? I mean, they are in the rail network, but, um, accumulators, it's just iron and battery. 
a stack of iron would turn into a stack of accumulators, and then it's also batteries. So I guess it would be more efficient to send up the accumulators as well. Let's go get some more scaffolding. And for now, I'll copy this over here. I'm pretty sure we don't have any carpet landing pads, but just in case. Oh, I also left these robo networks connected, so that'll be a little bit of a help. Hey, fat boy, not so slim. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Easy enough to make. Th Though, yes, indeed. Uh, if it hadn't been obviously less stack efficient, I would have just made them. Also, I'm suspecting that we'll want accumulators in high volume at some point. Probably just like this. Uh, there's going to be an upgrade process to make better accumulators. And we've run into that issue with scrap again. This is very strange to me. Um, I, I know what I can do to make sure this doesn't happen, but it doesn't make any sense that I should need to. And that is just to use a couple more splitters here so that everything that comes in down these belts gets split evenly across the four cargo wagons. Each divided by negative 24 output each. Or rather, yeah. Everything less than or equal to zero, which would be average, to be allowed to pick something up. All of these inserters that have a bit of scrap in here are turned off. That does seem to imply the balanced loader is working, except we somehow... How does this happen? I think it's got something to do with the fact that it, all of this gets produced in a massive burst when we get given enough chemical gel or whatever to make a bunch more solar panels. Also, this whole thing is stuck because the... I was going to say glass, but also LDS delivery is not coming in because this is blocking it. I suppose if I just moved these down like I'd been talking about, that would actually kind of solve the problem. Um, as long as you don't mind having a train sitting here for who knows how long. I'll get the spiders to continue building this for the moment. And let's... Send this train on its merry way. And yeah, once again, there's actually not enough scrap. Provide stack threshold of 160. There's 40 cargo wagons per... Uh, there's 40 inventory spaces per cargo wagon, which is multiplied out by 4. This absolutely shouldn't be able to happen. It's very odd. I could bump up the... Uh, provide stack threshold. 
and that might actually solve it, but I would like to move all of these down anyway so that that train isn't blocking that one up there. Um, I don't think I can move LTN train stops though. So let's start with... I actually don't know how far down to move it. Uh, one, two, three, that's not quite a cargo wagon. How about this? And... Bring this down here, I guess. Obviously, that is going to fill my inventory with multispectral mirrors. Probably should have used Piccadilly's, but it would have been more complicated. Uh, I'm not going to be able to get enough room to make this happen. There we go. even remotely close to done. Cool. Probably because I'm still holding all of these space manufactories. That would help. Okay. Feels like I'm moving more than six chests of stuff. Almost there. Uh, let's use even distro. Fantastic. And just bring the rail down here. Should be plenty of room for Does that look that's not like square, is it? Eh, looks a bit better, I think. Should be plenty of room for a train in there now. One, two, three, four, five, six. Fantastic. Okay, uh, substation, get down here please. I think this would look a little bit neater. And obviously the belts are going to have to change a little bit. Uh, that's actually... No, this is fine. Okay. It would probably help as well if we didn't sever the connections for these wires here. If we connect this up and all of these start working again, that's also a pretty good sign that the circuitry was correct. Seems good. Chromium accumulators are four times better. Wow, nice. Did you install Auto Trash? Uh, I did on my laptop, which I didn't get around to playing with yet. Looks like you may have. Hard to remember to turn off your 
own robots when deconstructing. I never remember. Yeah, definitely. Uh, sorry if I'm a bit slow in the chat. I got an alt tab today. Uh, okay, so that is still named correctly. Still connected where it needs to be. That should be fine. Oh, and uh, something in this sector would also block pickup of flat solar panels. But again, I really doubt that's ever going to come up. Where are you trying to go? Crash drop off. What's the problem there? What is the problem there? Oh, this is one sector, that's why. Okay. Uh, why don't we... add... this? And away you go. Actually, we could leave it at that, but then the train would always have to leave coming out this way. Fantastic. Right then, um, we've already got our flying robot frames, very nice. Did I already have some delivered over here? We've definitely requested them. Yep, there it is, 1.9k. Uh, so now let's put our requests back. Uh, I guess a couple of thousand of each robot. And I'll put in the usual... If I haven't already, that is. Uh, usual request a chest for putting bots in the robo network. Actually, why don't I do a green one? Oh, this is already in use. Yeah, I don't want to mess with the. with that circuit. Uh, how about over here? Let's use this one. Uh, we're going to do a green chest for robots. And wire goes here. Read robot statistics. Uh, available logistic bots as logistic bots, same for construction bots, set filters blacklist, and it's going to add bots when they are needed. Oh, also going to need some power of course. Fantastic. Yeah, Twitch on mobile is pretty good. Only chat or only audio is handy. Oh, that would have been useful. I was actually playing with it a little bit just before the stream, trying to hastily get some kind of chat display that I didn't need to alt tab to. I use my phone as my chat screen, just log in to your channel as a tab, tab only, tab only on your phone. I was thinking about using the laptop for that as well, that would have been better actually. Well, I don't know if it would be possible, but I was wondering if I could use the laptop for like a... Uh, dual machine streaming setup. I do have an old PC I could set up for that, but it'd be 
maybe a little bit more of a pain? Not sh not entirely sure. Oh, we finished our scaffolding here. Fantastic. We definitely need to automate logistic train stops. Um, and let's make sure we have requests for those as well. On our spiders. If they're each carrying ten of each, it's going to be way more than enough. Uh, if I can find them, that is. There it goes. Alright, so this is the dark blue spider. Um, I think this is one... One five five, was it? Yes. And... This one. So they should receive some... First we need lamps and red and green wire, actually. Uh, let's start that up here. I think we'll have to finish the... Uh, request for train stops before that kicks in. Uh, I could also add requests for iron sticks here, I guess. A hundred's probably not that much when it comes to certain high volume things. We'll figure something out. Uh, but yeah, for now, why don't I lend a hand? That was quick. Alright, so do we have everything else we need here? Not even close. I just don't know if two machines is going to be enough to get the prerequisites done with the way I've laid out the requests. Um, we're still going with the bots, I'm a little bit surprised. Wait, how many logistic bots do we have here now? 218. I can see we're making more logistic bots, like, pretty quickly, but the logistic bots are focusing on other things for the most part. Okay, now I see a stream of them being put over here, and the logistic bots here do get counted as being in the network. I did request 2,000 of each, didn't I? Yeah, so that's not that surprising. We're almost there, actually. Oh. Not as close as I thought. 850 to go. Um, I suppose it would make sense to... to have a few of these on hand. Wait, did we actually run out of... Oh yeah, it makes sense that we ran out of flying robot frames, actually. Yeah, we did request only 2,000 at a time. Well, that'll get itself sorted out relatively soon. But the trouble with this is it'll stay... Uh, the recipe will stay on the bots as long as that happens. I don't have any red or green wire left. I'm a little bit surprised by that. Old phone is plenty good for chat screen. That's true. Although the phone that I currently have is much worse than any old phone. Um, 
I literally bought like the second cheapest phone I could get as like a stopgap in... I wouldn't exactly call it an emergency, but I needed it immediately. Uh, never do this. It, it should be illegal to sell a phone that is this slow. It's like, it deliberately doesn't have enough memory to work at a decent speed. Uh, and it literally takes like a minute to do something that should take a couple of seconds. Or at least the first time you go to do it, it will. Alright, so there's our flying robot frames. Uh, we should hit our 2k logistic bots, and then of course we're on to construction bots. That's fine, I suppose. I will bump up the request here so it's greater than 2k. Anyway, uh, what were we doing? That's right, we need some cargo landing pads. I kind of really do want to set these up. Uh, to be built by this automatic system, but it's a little bit overloaded for the moment. I also don't particularly... no wait, I don't have to go to that much trouble to make that blacklist right now because I already have one over here uh, where I did that same thing already. So we have negative a million of anything that we don't want in these set requests and we just have a separate wire connecting to all of those chests. Uh, it's important though if you're going to do this to make sure that the requested chests up here have everything that's going to be needed um, by these assembly machines. Connect ice station belt. Ice station belt. Ice station. Wait, do we have ice here? I think ice is only up here for now. What do we got here? Petroleum. I mean, not petroleum. Uh, chemical gel. Nice. Fantastic. And this train is not blocking uh, the fluid train now. And we are still getting that issue where for some reason even though the request thresh uh, provide stack threshold is well and truly above a full train load here oh i think it's because where is it i think it's because i set the uh no I was going to say it's because I set the request threshold lower here, but evidently that is not correct. So I'm not sure what's happening to bring scrap trains here when there isn't enough to fill up a to fill up a train. It's very strange. But we've sort of made a workaround that makes it not matter. Okay, what's next? Uh, how many flying robot frames do we have here? 820? And we're about to hit 2000 construction bots. Alright, so this will switch over to another recipe in a second. Uh, meanwhile on Nervous, that is uncomfortably close. I think I did move them, but that must be an expansion from after the spiders cleared this area out. Yikes. 
if they'd been a little bit closer, uh, they could have got sniped. And they wouldn't have done anything to respond. Let's make sure there's nothing over here. And... Get this group to go this way. Probably send them home after that. Actually, how much ammo do they have? That's actually still pretty good. And this is even better. Okay. Um, let's screw back down here then. And continue this way. Oh no. Uh, I just lost all of the queued up movements for the group two. Rip. Whoop. Nope. Make sure you start zigzagging here. I might even just get them to follow group one for now. All right, let's go back to orbit. What do we got? Red wire, fantastic. So we are going to get those prerequisites done. Um, meanwhile, we could probably maybe speed this up a bit. Uh, where's our wire? There we go. Okay, cool. So that is working. Did we get any electromagnetic facilities yet? Electromagnetic facility. N. Requests disabled. Zero in storage. Alright. I am Russian. Sorry, you moving five minute ago to station? One don't connect. One doesn't connect. Item in chest for different cargo is not balanced. A Noxyway Gaming. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, are we talking about the scrap train? Where, even though we've got a balanced loader, um, we somehow end up with... I think it's like the third scrap train after we get a bunch of resources dumped in here because scrap gets made 85 per second for a while. But like... Oh wait, what's the train limit here? What? Nope. Nope. Train limit is one. That doesn't explain it at all. I was thinking maybe it would be sending another train when there was still scrap in here and it was getting loaded into the current train. Uh, but that doesn't seem to be the case. Uh, these need to be stack inserters. Yeah, that helps. Maybe I should make more than two of these. Um, I don't really feel like expanding it right now, though. 
Uh, let's not pass on this slot down here. And I'll have him clear out one more nest. Go back for ammo, I think. Yeah, let's get this one on the way back as well. Back to base. Maybe I should make some bridges for them so I don't have to keep zigzagging them through all of this. Okay. Wait, were those lamps? No, those are... Those are actually lamps. How did lamps end up... being picked up by the trash train? Why are there lamps here? Oh, it's because this is the s Oh, no. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, this should not be the same robo-network. In fact, I should probably pick up all of the logistic bots that end up stuck back here. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. Alright, that's going to settle down in a minute. Let's go sort that out, shall we? Don't need any logistic bots at all uh, in this particular network. The reason that we only have uh, storage chests, as opposed to any other colored chests here, um, I guess that would have automatically got taken back, but that's fine, uh, is because we're only using construction bots in this network. It's only for when rockets crash, which is apparently very, very rare between Nalvis and Nalvis Orbit. Makes sense, I suppose. Any freaking... And we do have... Yeah, we've got some automatic supply for robots here, so it's not like... It's not like we have to worry about picking up too many. What have we got? 18 logistic bots and zero construction. Where are the rest? Three. Fourteen. I think that leaves... Nope, that's all of them. Okay. Um... I'm a little surprised we haven't seen a construction bot delivery here yet. Total construction bots. Yeah, that should work. Request stack threshold is one. There are zero bots here. And we do offer everything that's in the logistic network to short trains. And we've got 2,000 construction bots here, so there should be a train coming to pick them up from here quite soon. I think. Oh, that must be it. Fantastic. SE has had some recent updates that might be worth updating for. Speed and processing quality of life updates. 
Meteor defense protects a planet moon orbit, not each individually. Check the changelog one day. Might do that. It's really just a question of uh, being concerned about whether it's going to break anything. Um, okay. So there go our bots. That's right, we were going to make another another one of these basically except I'll get rid of the cargo landing pads for the moment um, I think it's okay if these share a network that should be fine is your internet okay? I'm getting a lot of lagging uh it's it's been up and down a little bit. I don't know if there's an issue with our connection here now, or if someone is using it at above normal. Well, no, I mean, it's... I, I think it must be the connection, because if some... If someone's... If someone else is uploading something, it'll pretty much be all or nothing. Not this sort of intermittent thing that we've been having. It's still up, just checking. Yeah. Alright, I think what I'm gonna do... It's fine. Is no one else having any drops here? We've had... Oh, we are getting some drops right now, actually. Yeah, I th think I'm going to change the frame rate. Also, I am Sa. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, yeah, bear with me for a minute. Stream's going to go down briefly. I'm just going to drop the frame rate down to half. We should be able to maintain a solid connection that way. Alright, one sec. 